Well, good morning. Uh, we are arriving a little bit late as we were running through the corridors here at the Zero Conference 2023. So I had, the great, I had a great chat with Megan Lawrence of Nike yesterday in our main conference room. And I was like, we have to get Megan to talk about fly ease, but not just fly ease, but yes. fly ease and how Nike are starting to look at this as a universal design, or maybe you have always done so. But we got to talk yes. about the shoes. Okay. And we got to talk about where accessibility is being positioned in Nike now and where you see the future. Yeah. Okay. So, first thing I want to just start with can you just tell us, first of all, a little bit about Megan? Yes. And your role in Nike and your commitment to accessibility over the last several years. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so I am the Global Director of Accessibility and Disability Inclusion, and I run the Center of Excellence at Nike. Now, we have the Center of Excellence in our DEI team, and I think that's important to call out because disability is a core way that we define diversity, and accessibility is integral to the way that we deliver equity. And so I think that's a really important yeah. reason why why we are positioned where we are. Yeah, so I say that on accessibility is a way in which you deliver equity. equity. Love, love. Yeah. So you have been with some big brands before. You were previously with Microsoft, yes. right? And now you've been with Nike a year. Yes. So first of all, delivering the center of excellence is extraordinary. What are the four pillars that you're, you're doing within the center of excellence? Yeah, so we really are looking at four strategic areas investment. The first one is disabled employee experience. We want to ensure that employees with disabilities are having a great experience, as well as how we're bringing on new uh, disability talent and really thinking about building that culture of disability inclusion through training and development. Mm -hmm. The second one is about accessible design, which is where the shoes come in. We're gonna so, do shoes. so we're going to do cool. shoes here in just a minute. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> They're coming. Um, and so we really have this long history of developing adaptive product, including footwear. Um, but I believe there's so much more that we can do as we think about the role that technology and physical product like footwear may come together. The third is about inclusive brand. So we want to tell authentic stories about people with disabilities. And oftentimes we think of adaptive athletes or disabled athletes, and we love to tell a good sports story. Yes, you but do. there are also people like me who have a disability that are absolutely uh, capable of putting on shoes, being independent, gaining the confidence that we all need to really live the quality of life that we want. And so we're really leaning into that as well. And last is really looking at how we are serving our uh, disability consumer. How do you buy something on Nike.com? We now have uh, adaptive workouts with disabled athletes on our NTC app, as well as uh, having a great experience in retail stores. So we're starting to think about quiet shopping hours and all kinds of ways to really invite the local disability community into our stores. But there's another great relationship you have with the disability community that sort of arches design and consumer and brand, which I love. And I think there's an awful lot of people who would love to do this. Can you just tell me how the yes. disability community are part of helping you design and, and the consumer experience? Yeah, so uh, when we talk about Fly Ease, which is our line of adaptive footwear, which we'll showcase here in a second, that really was developed with the insights of people with disabilities and really looking to our athletes and folks like myself to think about what, is, what do those new technologies and designs look like. But then the fun part is also the wear testing. So we have teams of people <laughs> um, who literally wear our shoes, give us feedback. What's working well? How did you get it on? How did you get it off? And really thinking about the um, evolution of that process through wearing our shoes. And they get sneakers for free, right? They get, yeah, yes, okay, yes. <laughs> so they there was sneakers. an awful lot of people who were coming, well, can I be one of those? Uh, yes. um, but the other piece that was really interesting yesterday going through the conference is Hearing you speaking about flies and, and we'll look at the collapsible heel and everything and how it's now been woven in more into the general design of a shoe. And then we heard Apple speaking and then we heard Uni, um, Uni Credit Bank Austria about this universal approach. But the power of the brand mm. and the power of brand to radically change how we see inclusion and how we see disability and accessibility. Was that one of the reasons that you joined Nike? Because it's like a huge brand, right? Absolutely. And I think there really is no other brand in the world that has 
this positioning to change the global narrative on disability, to show disability as a strength, to see disability as part of movement, of sport, of self-expression, of beauty, of fashion. And so to me, that's really exciting as we lean more into the center of excellence and think about product that we're gonna see coming out in the future. So we're gonna talk about our shoes, but one thing I just wanna say, you don't have to be a massive athlete to love these sneakers, because one other great line other than just do it is every, body and athlete. Isn't yes. it? It's this is about you don't have to be the world's greatest basketball player <laughs> to love these shoes. So drum roll please. <laughs> okay, let's talk about let's the shoes. shoes. Let's okay. talk about the shoes. Okay. So um first of all, I have brought the my favorite pairs of flies. Now the first thing I want everybody to remember is that we have adaptive footwear in many of our models, right? So if what if you love running, we've got a I, running I pair running. of sneakers, yeah. right? If you love Jordans, we've got a pair of Jordans so here today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna change that, but that's okay. okay. Um, and so really thinking about the availability of a, of a shoe that, that fits what your needs are and your styles, as well as price point. So yeah, we exactly. have sneakers from $40 up to $240, depending on what you need, where you're at in your current situation. Okay, with that, can first hold, of all. Can I hold the mic for you? Yes, thank you. We're gonna go with my, my favorite pair of sneakers right here. Now this has a collapsible heel right, which we call a tailgate, which allows you to put this on completely hands-free. So I'm gonna stand up and demo it here. And, and this isn't smelly, sure it's not. <laughs> it might be, but luckily you don't have smell of vision So I can simply slide my foot right into the shoe and then either, and then use my toe or any part of my body to simply um, slip it right off. So again, this is a hands-free model that makes it super, super easy to put on and off. And we have several hands-free um, styles. Can we, can we do that again from, yeah, from the front? Yeah, just so just we can see it. Here we go. So just slipping your foot right in. Again, it's got that little fin tailgate on the back. I can take my toe and then easily exit my foot. That's round one. <laughs> I wear these everywhere. I love these shoes. Are these your airport shoes? These are, these are airport shoes. Yeah, <laughs> these are dog walking shoes. These are, oh no, I have to go to the grocery store because I need milk shoes, right? In a hurry. Yeah. Um, the second one I'm gonna show is a Jordan. Now, who doesn't love a beautiful Jordan? Now, if you are thinking about fashion, we are seeing women in beautiful suits with sneakers on. Right? Me. Yeah, exactly. So. This is uh, the Fly is Jordan. So with one hand, you can easily unzip the entire back and it opens up. And if you need a little bit more customization, you can go ahead and open and the whole shoe opens up. So again, no laces in terms of having to lace. You just can put this position exactly where you want it and then zip it up. And then for me, I don't have to open the zipper I can now simply pop it right on and then close the closure. And what's cool about this is you still have the style of the laces with the Velcro action. And I think it looks just like a Jordan, right? And so it's not this concept that we've made a shoe that's like a easy. Medical to shoe. And exactly. Yeah. This is not separate but equal. And in fact, what we see is many people are buying this because, frankly, it's just easier to get on, especially when you look at those high tops, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Universal design at its best. At its best. These I do keep in the box. These get cleaned every time I wear them. I do. I am at sneakerhead. <laughs> See, I just love this. Okay, show the runners in the world. How, how, how do we go? This is for me. Okay, these, these really are the dog walking shoes right here. So here with the closure, you can open with one finger. So again, the adjustable laces, super easy. Pop it on. Close it up. And this provides a lot of support. It's got that really nice cushion base. It's great for when you're walking all day long. I'm wearing these at the conference today because after three days, 
I'm starting to get a little bit of, uh, you know, tired feet. I saw that. You were taking off your black ones. I was like, oh, you're in your running shoes today. I'm, we're in running shoes today because I needed that little bit of extra support, which so many of us understand, right? Mm -hmm. um, so those are my favorite three pairs of Fly E's. But I encourage everybody to go onto the website and check it out. We not only have things for men's and women's, but we've got a great new kids line that we launched that includes adaptive clothing as well. So we're really thinking Hold on, tell us a little bit about that. We have literally two minutes. Tell us a little bit about the adaptive clothing. Yes, so um, just this year we launched um, a set of adaptive clothing specifically for kids because we want to empower children to be able to get dressed by themselves and really thinking about how we model, again, that accessible design moment where we design with the disability community, with kids with disabilities who always have the greatest ideas. They will yes. tell you, the, no limits. The magic. <laughs> right, yeah. They really always are so fun to design with. And then we've uh, put that into the line, not only for children with disabilities, but any kids that are really finding their independence as they're getting dressed on their own. So uh, I interviewed Susan Scott Parker here a few days ago, and she was saying, we will fail the disability community if we do not help business find solutions for us. I think this is one of those great examples of where we are, you are in partnership together to help business become the greatest ally for inclusion in the world. And I think the thing I'm most excited about is when you're talking about mainstreaming the, a lot of your designs yes. into the brands. That, yes. is, that is the mic drop, right? I, I think so. I mean, I think this is really where uh, the disability community begins to shine because it is through the insights of people like myself and other disabled people where we're really thinking about elevating everyday products that you buy simply and easily online or in, in a store. Well, can I just say a huge thank you to Megan Lawrence. Oh, I literally grabbed out of the corridor to come and share this so that everybody could see it. And this is not just about Nike, the incredible brand, but it's about the people really pushing that and getting the leadership from the top so we can drive that down through the system. Absolutely. So a huge thank you to Megan Lawrence. Thank you.